Hello and welcome to Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you. So I just did about three minutes of, uh, of my vlogs a day with the camera off. That was fun. I was talking about... I spent the weekend working on a video game tape project. I play um, Mountain Blade Warbands and I tape it and I dub in voice. and It's just a fun thing to do on the weekends. Whereas my goal is to have at least one actual face vlog every day during the week. Um, and I was talking about how I ended up into this whole video game cycle and it was because when in the 90s I wanted to work in games and they had these things called MUDs which were all text games and the MUD engines are such that they were covered by some really bizarre intellectual property laws because they didn't want anybody making money off of their stuff even though they themselves weren't going <laughs> to try to make money off of it and it was funny because there's all these people that were just putting all of this work into these beautiful little all text games and you'd run around as a little paladin slaying dragons and whatnot. Nobody could be paid at all because the original guys didn't want any money and nobody else putting any of the work into this could get paid off because their their work was considered derivative of the uh, <clears throat> the program. At least that's what we were all told. I actually did know one guy who just took LP mud and just told him, you know, because <laughs> he was a lawyer. And I guess what he understood that a lot of other people didn't was that it was unenforceable uh, license that they had. It was just, they were never going to be able to get the people back together, and so he just told them to all kiss off, and he made reasonable money for a while. Raised raised at least one kid. I don't know how he is. Terrible, terrible admin. But, you know, other people liked him, just not me. Uh, so that's, that's how I ended up doing game related stuff and the open source because I thought, you know, I could do this, but I can't because even though I had the skills to admin a game and to write uh, content for a game, you know, uh, the amount of money to either license my own game engine and all this stuff was just prohibitive. And I get, that's the way life is in other things too, where people buy up all the land and then because it's their land, you owe them if you live on it. Or they buy up all the intellectual property rights for everything. And because they're their rights, you owe them. If you make a, even a copy after you've bought it, you can't make more copies for yourself. We're at the point now where you don't even own your phone. You buy the phone, but then if you try to change the software on the phone, they call it a jailbreak. <laughs> it's, my, it's not my phone. I pay for it, but it's not mine anymore. Nothing belongs to us. And then we're told by the communists, you know, well... That's why we need to get away from capitalism. No, that's why we're going to get away from capitalism by giving up all property. And then the people that own it will be, you know, basically the church. It will be this churchless state organization that owns everything and the rest of us can kiss it goodbye. You will never have another right in your life. You will do what you are told or you will die. Or better yet, they will usually use you as an experimental guinea pig for whatever the heck it is they're going to do for the one half of one percent people that are at the top of this pyramid. We've seen it enough times to know. But anyway, that's how I eventually got into this video game thing with this channel is because um, intellectual property laws, open source, that all ties into Christianity to me in the sense that none of the way our our economy works today as Christian. None of the way our economy works is moral. It's it's a totally immoral, evil system. You're not supposed to have your money supply <laughs> based on fiat debt-based currency that you're required by law to use or go to jail. W what part of this is even mildly confusing that this would be okay? And when you ask these questions of, well, you just don't understand. I'm like, no, my main problem is I do understand, and I understand that nobody cares. And because nobody cares about intellectual property, which is a lie, ideas are not property. If you steal my idea, I still have it. It's called learning. Stealing an idea is called 
learning, which is probably a big part of why our educational system is in the trash. Um, limited liability, so the people that own everything understand that they would be held accountable for everything, and they don't want to be held accountable, they just want to make money. <laughs> so we have limited liability, so they can own everything, and everybody's work comes to them, because, you know, you had to make that deal, uh, you know, it's not slavery, you agreed to give me everything that you work for, because it's my land, and if I don't let you use it, you'll starve. <laughs> You know, like, there's nothing wrong with that at all. And then, um, and then of course, the other big foundational thing is uh, the whole central bank itself. Basically, the pros basically usury. You should not be charging people for the use of something that you don't want to sell. You should either sell it or not sell it. Um. You know, if people want to borrow it, you can let people borrow it, and if they pay you back, fine. I don't even have a huge problem. I don't have a huge problem with usury, per se. It's an interesting question, and that's why it keeps coming back. But God said no usury, and so I think that's what's wrong. Is we, we In our own selves, we make excuses like, well, it doesn't really matter. Apparently it does. Apparently lending things is one thing. Lending things at usury turns into something else. And at this point, it turns into an entire monetary system whereby a handful of people own all of the money privately and we pay them rent on every single dollar in circulation at this point. So that can't be good. So limited liability, banking, intellectual property... That all ties into the video games in the sense that it's open source, which is the way we, we should have to do businesses that are intellectual in nature. There should not be any such thing as copyright. There should not be any such thing as patent. If I copy something, that means I got a hold of it and I made my own copy. Okay. If I learn how to do something, I don't owe you. I might owe you to teach me, but once you've taught me, done. And... uh and we also need, basically, if you want freedom, which I understand a lot of people actually don't, but if what you want is freedom, you're going to need access to the land. doesn't mean that we don't need private property. If I build a house, you know, clearly I need access to the land to get to my house. And we can cooperate. We can build skyscrapers, and we all have to have legal access to our little corner of the skyscraper and what other. But the land, broadly speaking, cannot belong to just a handful of people, or you are tenants, slaves. Um, so that's, you know, the land, year of the Jubilee, forgiveness of all debts, no usury. These things are addressed all the way back, you know, 2,700 years ago plus in the Bible. And, of course, we're very busy making sure that everybody thinks the Bible is horrible because if anybody realized how far away we are from free, uh, they might go nuts. Incidentally, in closing, if you want to bring down the system in a big hurry without lifting a finger in violence, just everybody just start taking your money out of the banks. You'll go down fast. Very fast. <laughs> So uh, this is Shane. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a great time. See you tomorrow. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.